what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so in this video i'm going to be talking about the real reason and the only reason that all of us are going to kind of have guessed by now the only actual reason why we are not going to be getting a jeepers creepers 4 so as of right now as we all know jeepers creepers 3 came out i want to say it's going on three years it's been two years since it came out going on three years by this september um that was a failure the movie didn't make as much as as it as the studio wanted it to make and i'm gonna go into some details regarding what happened behind the scenes with jeepers creepers 3 so again i have a facebook group that i have created uh, i'm gonna leave another link to that facebook group down in the comment section below it'll be pinned in the comment section please join that group if you want to have any questions regarding the future of this franchise address there is a member who uh there was a member in that group who was a former cast member or he was set to be part of the cast for jeepers creepers cathedral way back when jeepers creepers 3 was going to be bringing back ray wise going to be bringing back gina phillips going to be bringing back uh several different characters to reprise roles this individual that's in my group he's not one of them his name is uh stacy langenkamp if you recognize that last name that is because he is the nephew of heather langenkamp uh he was casted in the film in 2009 i believe sometime and he was going to he was going to portray the role of Derry Jr., uh, aka the son that the Trisha's son, who she named after her brother, who got killed in the first film. Um, he's in the group and he's answering any and all questions regarding what is going on with this property, with this franchise, because he actually has connections with Victor Salva. He has contact with Victor Salva, uh, so I can take his word for anything. Of course, he's showed me things where he's texted Victor Salva. He actually also did just recently get done working on the film Halloween Kills. Uh, he has confirmed that those leaks that I did bring uh, light to, those in fact were real. That's not to say that that's what's going to happen on the actual film when it comes out, but those are the actual, uh, those are legitimate things that were written down uh, or typed out early on in regards to the uh, script. But getting back on topic, I uh, kind of went off there with the... Um, whole thing regarding what happened with jeepers creepers 3 stacy has actually informed several people in this group including myself that what what was happening was the studio did not want to finance uh cathedral so what had happened was i'm sure we've all heard this they were going to they were willing to finance the jeepers creepers 3 but as long as victor rewrote a script to fit within that budget then that's what uh that's what was going to happen so that's why we got the jeepers creepers 3 that we got uh victor's victor's heart wasn't really in that third film uh we can clearly tell by how it came out and how the writing was a little bit wonky um what the studio was going to do was they were going to give a bigger budget if jeepers creepers 3 actually performed well well i don't know how the movie was going to perform well when all it had was one night of release now i'm sure that's not what they were initially planning on doing but since so much stuff other things that were going on with this movie were hindering it and all the backlash regarding victor salva uh that led to the movie only getting a one night release and then it came back for another one night release it's just not that's not something that that's not a good uh a good time frame for someone to make back a budget of a movie uh not something like jeepers creepers where the property has been dead for so many years and then you, you the movie wasn't even advertised that great uh but since jeepers creepers 3 bombed that's why uh screen screen media or whoever the studio was with that film that's why they did not green light a fourth film otherwise if the third movie did good we would have gotten a higher budget film called jeepers creepers 4 but since that did not work out we are not going to get a jeepers creepers 4 because of that um and really the only thing that's stopping us from getting it still to this day is victor salva victor salva has the rights he is the sole owner of this property he is the creator he has the rights to do whatever he wants to do with this property since he had such a hard time getting the third film made, third film made he literally spent uh well over a decade trying to get that third film made so i understand his frustration there and not wanting to go through that again and then on top of that when you finally have the opportunity to make what you wanted to make for so long 
you get you get it cut in half. You're reduced to doing something you didn't really want to do. Uh, so I understand that frustration there with him as a filmmaker, but he has no interest in wanting to further anything with this property as of right now. There are no plans for Jeepers Creepers 4 uh, due to the fact that Jeepers Creepers 3 did bomb and Victor Salvages does not want to go through the hassle of potentially getting stuck with making a another entry in this film my issue though is victor salva i would imagine there are so many people who would love to take over this property and take and take the rights and give us a creeper film that we all know we deserve after waiting so long since 2003 the ending of jeepers creepers 2 uh blumhouse i could see doing this but the really the and the other issue of course is victor salva's history his horrible history we're not condoning any of his actions but I feel like another issue on top of that is a lot of people probably do not want their name associated with something created by him due to the amount of publicity that his horrible past has gotten. And what's amazing to me is how Victor Salva's horrible past gets so much attention, but there's still people out here with the same backstory as him who are winning awards in other countries. Uh, I forget his name. I believe it was Roman Polanski. It's just so many things that I just do not understand. Again, we're not condoning his actions, but I just wish that he would kind of just settle down and say, hey, uh, there's I know there's a there's a fan base for what this for this monster I've created. Uh, the Creeper has one of the most unique character designs. He's one of the most unique on screen monsters we have gotten in the past 20 years, past decade, past two decades now. Uh, I wish Victor Victor would just understand that he could attempt to do something. I don't know if he has, but I feel like he hasn't. I feel like nothing's being done to try to get a fourth film made at all. Victor has no interest in selling the rights, it sounds like, so we're probably never going to get a fourth film, unfortunately. Uh, but let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. Do you agree that Victor Salva should try to sell the rights? Who would, he, who would you like to see him sell it to? Who would you like to see take over this property? Uh, Leave a comment down below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe and turn on post notifications so you never miss a video. In the description, again, I will have links to all my social media accounts, on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you would like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.